Looking back on the game, actually, in actuality, I didn't watch the whole game, as a matter of fact, against Air Force. Probably something I didn't want to see. It was just so, so brutal when you want to kind of put it behind you. But we did pull it out. And, um, and I am, um, like I told the team, very proud of how they competed down the stretch to, to, get, us, to get us that win. Auburn University be a different, you know, style of play. Bruce Pearl, we've, I've coached against his teams in the past when he was at Tennessee, and he does a, an outstanding job. His teams, are, um, they run a swing-style offense. It's a variation of the flex and emotion. Tries to isolate people, and, and they do a good job. You know, certainly, um, we tried to recruit Simeon Bowers when we were at Minnesota, so he's a very talented player, and he'll be a real – a real challenge. Uh, KT Harrell is one of the best players in the in the SEC, so they've got a they've got a lot of talent. And and anytime you're playing in this this type of uh, challenge, um, SEC Big Twelve challenge, it's uh, it has a lot of um, it's motivation for for our players. I think to play hard and represent the Big Twelve conference. It's just an added in incentive. Any no, because I knew we had a tough – we had a very uh, – we didn't have a very good practice the day before. And I was really concerned um, because when they were trying to guard Air Force offense in practice, they were having a tough time. And I knew it would be a challenge uh, because you have to be so disciplined and a team like Air Force can really make you look bad when you're, when you're not in the right spot and you're not – uh, defensively focused, and even when you are, they're intelligent ball club that that knows how to take advantage of of sometimes uh, aggressive defense, and that's what we we try to play. Well, yeah, it's good. It's good for college basketball. It's good for us. Uh, Texas Tech. Is, I'm sure it's good for Auburn. Um, that you know programs that really haven't. You know, it's not like you're selling out your stadiums, your arenas at either program. So I think it's a, it's good to create this type of uh, interest early in the season uh, so people can kind of, you know, the fan base, people around the country, you know, media, you know, basketball gurus are talking about these matchups, whether it's SEC versus Big 12 or Big 10 versus – ACC, you know, it's a, uh, uh, and that's that's why it was done. I'm sure to try to create some uh, during this period between the transition from football to basketball season, and it's been good for college basketball, and we're excited about playing this type of this type of competition.